Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Illa. Today is Tuesday, uh, June the 14th, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and I look a little crazy. Whew, I can't help it. My hair is wild. I'm trying to let it grow out again, and it's like the longer it gets, the floofier it gets. <laughs> Anyways, I have really thick hair, as if you couldn't tell. And uh, it's just like piled on top of each other. I brush it multiple times a day, and then it just still looks like I don't take care of it. <laughs> Anyways, this is my May roundup. I wanted to hop on here and try to get this done. June is napping. Jessie's playing a game in there. You can probably hear it in the background. I got the door open so I can hear her if she wakes up. Of course, he'll tell me because he always does. <laughs> but I got some stuff finished in uh, May more than April. April only had nine finished objects and in May I had 14. Plus I had three whips roll over into June. So, uh, I'm pretty sure I took photos of all my finished objects, and I'll insert them in, uh, over here. <laughs> if I did, and if I didn't, then oh well, <laughs> you'll have to remember. <laughs> but, okay, so first, uh, my first finished object for May was a strawberry. <laughs> a little strawberry amigurumi that I made from the book Whimsical Stitches, um, which I'll link that below if you want to check it out. It's a really nice book. And, um... I use just red heart scraps and a little tiny 3.5 hook, which I believe is an E. And then I made the four Harry Potter scarves, which I know I have a photo of that because I've seen it earlier. <laughs> so I made all four of them. And those were from um, Megan Meyer from Left and Knots, and it was free pattern. Uh, then I made an alien hat and the alien amigurumi. The hat I didn't use a pattern for. It's just a basic hat. And then the alien pattern the little amigurumi is called alan the alien by ollie plus holly or ollie and holly uh oh she's waking up <laughs> okay <laughs> got to the alien i made those two items for a national holiday then i made the entertaining doily by sarah satch it's a free pattern uh all these will be linked below by the way i don't know if i said that <laughs> i also made the summer fun headband by sarah satch and then I made the crochet wind spinner. I know I don't have a picture of that because I still haven't hung it up. <laughs> I still haven't gotten to this closet to dig out our tackle box to get a swivel out to put on it. I'll do that eventually, maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Then I made one of these small winter burst squares, which I'm slowly going to make a bunch of those eventually <laughs> to make a blanket with. I'm just using scrap yarn to do that um, when I'm making, when I'm using up. Like when I have enough to to make it, <laughs> I'm just gonna make that, um, and have a whole bunch of them. I don't I don't know what I've just said. <laughs> I'm confused. Anyways, I'll link it below. Then I made the mother goose, which was by all of it stringing ding. It's a free pattern. Then I made the round rug that is underneath June's um, jumper. Made that. And uh, I used up a lot of yarn with that one. That was good. Then I made the Summer Flower Doily by Sarah Satch. I love Sarah Satch's pattern. <laughs> and let's see here. That was all the things that I finished. And the three items that I started and carried over into June was Queen Elizabeth II from the book Iconic Women um, by Carla Matrini. I'm not sure you said that. I'll link that book below too. I finished her in June. You guys have already seen her. And then two projects that I started and haven't finished yet is the Trendy Puff Sleeve Sweater, which I'll insert that link below too if you can check it out. Uh, it is a paper pattern though. And I just haven't had time to work on it much. It's kind of like a background project. I'll work on it whenever I get around to working on it. And then I'm working on a second round rug slash blanket for Jesse. I actually have put all the yarn I have into it. And uh, he loves it the way it is, even though it's kind of beveled. But, um, cause I asked him if he wanted me to rip it out and fix it, but he said no, that he likes it the way it is, but he doesn't want it bigger. So I got to get some more blanket yarn to add to that. And the colorway that I was using, that was called, uh, Bernat Baby Blanket Stripes Tiny Teal <clears throat> is discontinued, I think, cause I can't find it anywhere online. So I'm just gonna have to get colors that match with it. So, yeah, so I had, um, how many? 14 finished objects and three carried over. One of the three I've already finished. Technically two because I put all the yarn that I had into that blanket so far. But um, yeah, so that was my May finishes. Yeah. So and the only um, ball bands I'm getting to add to my bag is all six of the ones from the round blanket, round rug that I made for June. So there are six uh, Mandala Thick and Quicks, 
and the colorway was pinwheel. So I used six full skeins or cakes for that project. So that's why I get to put it into my bag. When I find it, I was looking for it earlier and I can't find it. It's in my craft room somewhere. I just don't know where. <laughs> Cause I haven't put April's in there yet. I found them on my craft cart. So I need to put them in there. But I do already have two ball bands for June um, to put in there. And I've already got one, two, three, three finished objects for June. Four finished objects for June for next time. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to hop on here and do my roundup real quick. She's crying. <laughs> so I got to run in there and get the baby. She's uh, she's in a safe place, but she's awake now and she wants to be picked up. So I'll link all these down below for you guys to check out. And hopefully I remember to send her the photos. But I will see you tomorrow for Watch Work on Wednesday. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.